is the creation term for wham bam? Thank you, ma'am. Now I ask not to be crude, more like incredulous over a government plan there that puts well a lot of our handouts to shame. The Croatian government forgiving debt owed by 60,000 of its poorest citizens. Actually, I got that wrong. It's not just forgiving the debt, it's wiping it away as if it never existed. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, Democratic strategist Jessica Ehrlich thinks so. Catherine Tipp says, don't give this administration any ideas. So Catherine Tipp, to you first, you don't like what you see here, even though the argument in Croatia was these are poor people unable to pay these debts anyway. Uh, not a slippery slope. Tell Catherine to calm down. They didn't say that. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying. Right. Well, while they're doing that, this is a government program. So they're sending the message that it's not your responsibility. It is the government's responsibility to take care of this, which encourages noncompliance. If I was someone who was just a little less poor, but still poorer than these people, I would regret being a that responsible, or not being less be responsible wait, with you be my waiting money. for your handout? I'd be waiting for my handout. Why would it matter? And it's going to make it worse for these people, maybe even, because if I were one of these firms, I would be a little more careful about loaning money to somebody with a lower income. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Jessica. Isn't this the equivalent of a, of a bankruptcy, even though it's a government-sanctioned one? Well, I mean, in this situation, they're looking at targeting people who have made less than 370 American dollars in the last three weeks. So it really is for the poorest of the poor. And I think it's actually an interesting and sort of imaginative idea that they're using on their you know, national level, because Croatia has been in a very deep recession. They work with the IMF, with the International Monetary Fund. So how is Fund, forgiving 60,000 people's debt, however justified, however humanitarian, going to jibe with those who are going to have to pick up the slack and pay for that. Well, because what they're trying to do is actually stimulate their economy. They have a really low GDP right now, and the groups that are, the debt that's getting forgiven is actually specifically with utilities, with telecom, oh, I see. So you um, say that money is spent, and some banks. I understand. So you're saying that money that normally would have gone to the government is spent and, and uh, might ignite the economy. I think the government is actually working here to try to work with the other utilities and businesses to sort of help them because they've already said that they have no chance of getting this money that is owed from these people. So That's if the sad, government is working that, with the, these businesses. I know, but Kevin, Kevin here's what worries me about that is saying the government then is bailing out the utilities, so to speak, in, under the guise of just recognizing the obvious. Well, you could do that till the cows come home with college kids and their debt. Uh, with, you know, uh, sick time, paid sick time. You can go on and on and make justification. Right, why not just bail out everybody then? And this isn't going to do anything to stimulate the economy because they are so poor. They're not going to have anything. They're on welfare. They're making barely anything. Well, what do you think they'll do with that 300 some odd American dollars? Uh, right, well, they can spend it, and they can spend it, and why wouldn't they be in the same situation after with more debt? Because they haven't addressed any of the underlying problems. This is a pre-election move. They're not very popular. This this is addressing a consequence, but not the root of the problem. There's still this huge unemployment. About half of young people don't have jobs, 20% overall. It's not going to get any better if you're in the same circumstances. So bottom line, Jessica, if this were to be tested here, I take it you'd be for it. I, I don't think this will ever be tested here. I mean, Croatia By the way, it's is a news far flash. from it the already economy. Is in varying ways, but that's my <laughs> well. I mean, that's very debatable on many different levels. But <laughs> I think it's very different. And actually, Catherine is correct in saying this is only one of a number. I mean, the IMF has given Croatia a laundry list of different things that they need to implement in order to try to get their economy motivated. But I mean, it's also you know a good opportunity. Croatia is an incredibly beautiful place, not far from Italy. So oh, for I American love tourists, no, I you're mean, right. It's and um, by the way, I'm not an apologist yeah, for IMF mean, helping the World the Bank. International or those, economy here. those guys are thieves. Uh, and the draconian measures they put on people who, to whom they give money, I mean, makes the mob look like Mother Teresa, but that's a whole separate show. I mean, and in terms of you know, in terms of bailouts, we did bail out our auto industry. I mean, we've faced, you know, a lot of tough well, decisions just in the last few years as well. So I think, you know, helping these people, especially people. if it's we helping Croatian business and Croatian okay. utilities, is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. I think, I don't know. I don't know. When we come back, ISIS is looking for a financial lifeline and U.S. citizens are giving it to them. How some of your own neighbors could be funding terror after this.